All right, guys, welcome back. Act 9.1 is all done on both my accounts. Uh, there is a playlist of all the boss fights and a breakdown of the Orochi boss. Uh, on the, we're gonna start with the second account. I had a six star Relic Nexus. I ended up going uh, with Vision just cause I like using some tech champions that benefit from the Relic there. I've got five uh, seven star basics and a seven star selector on both so that's going to be 12 seven stars in total for this video between the two accounts the first one is a hulk and i don't have hulk on the junior account so that's very good but hulk is what i am searching for on the main account because i have him at rank three unawakened so really want to awaken hulk that is the goal uh, the next one here is going to be a uh, Sunspot, and I believe this is the first time I have pulled Sunspot on the uh, second account, so that's good. I don't think I've bit the bullet on ranking up the 6-star yet. That is still some of the annoying parts where you have a 6-star ranked up to max, and then you pull the 7-star. Um, next is going to be... An awakening on that sunspot so that's pretty cool normally I do uh, you know want to get them awakened before I rank them up so maybe that's an option there but I've already got like Negasonic uh, I think on this one uh, so I'm not sure we'll see I got lots of options on uh, the accounts here the next one is going to be a, uh, a penny and I believe this is a first time awakening on Penny Parker. Yes, it is. So first time awakening on Penny, I will take that. And the last of the seven star basics. Is going to be uh, Dragon Man. So uh, I think this is like a Sig 40 Dragon Man. So. Not the most exciting <laughs> last one there, but very happy with the, the sunspot and the dupe. Uh, first time on Hulk, that's always good. And now um, I kind of gambled. I decided to go with um, the mutant uh, from the class selector, hoping that I could dupe either my dust or my onslaught that I was already lucky to have. So uh, we go ahead, we grab the mutant one. You can see you can choose from any class. I go for the mutant and cross my fingers <laughs> that it's gonna work. And uh, there are some other good champions to get out of the mutant uh, class. It's a pretty stacked class of champions. I saw Onslaught was in the reel, but it's gonna be a Colossus. So we gambled. We did not <laughs> come out on top. That's fine. Not the end of the world. You know, Sig 40 Colossus. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and jump over to the main account. I do have Titan Crystals. Actually, I have two on both accounts, but I'm not sure if I'm going to hold them or not. Uh, I, uh, again, we get a chance to dupe vision i actually this is my other accounts so i already had it so it's a chance to awaken the vision relic which is nice and iron fist would have been new actually after this opening was over i realized i had one more six star relic and i ended up actually pulling a iron fist so i don't feel bad about not taking the new relic there and um, we have five more champs on the main account obviously looking for a high uh you know either a high ranking dupe um but uh, a brand new champion is good. We got a brand new Strife. So uh, I played a lot of Apocalypse during the, the, my Act 9 run for those annoying evade paths. And the Strife would be good to bring with. I don't think I brought the 6-star with me on uh, any of those paths. But he would have helped for sure. Next is going to be a first time awakening on guillotine 2099 that's actually really really nice uh maybe that's the champion that goes up i used to play her a lot on the second account not a lot recently but uh that's really nice to pull the uh, awakening next up in similar fashion as the other account we pull 
a brand new champion and awaken them in the same opening. So we pulled an awakened sunspot, now we pull an awakened uh, strife on the main account. Next one, this one, I think I got a bunch of like internet connection issues. Finally, it slowed down and it was a Sauron. Nothing super exciting about that. Uh, and then finally, the last of the seven star basics on the main account. was uh, a Tuma dupe, which was actually really nice. So maybe I bring him up for defense. Dupe the Tuma is actually pretty good. I know some guys are really excited about that. So maybe that's someone I rank up. I already have like a Korg ranked up for defense. I could have a Tuma also. <laughs> so those guys are very annoying. Uh, then I decide I'm just gonna go with, uh, I said at the beginning of the video, I want to try and do Hulk because he's my highest. Uh, it was either trying to do Hulk or potentially do Bullseye, both at rank 3, unduped. I figured I had uh, more options out of the Science class, so I go ahead, pick the Science Crystal. We're going to gamble again and see if we can get anything out of the Science Crystal. There it is, with a <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and drop it in the reel for our, our 12th and final 7-star of the opening. I see a lot of hulks in there. <laughs> I was crossing my fingers and we tap it, let it spin out. It's rolling, it's going, and it rolls over onto Hulk. And there we go, we started with a Hulk. We end with a Hulk. We get the dupe that we're looking for. And that's exciting because again, I'd like to get uh, those champions on the top row. Still Bullseye doesn't have the awakening yet, but that's another champion at the top awakened at rank three i have so many rank up decisions to make lots of choices but uh i try to pick them to help me with content as it comes out maybe some alliance for defense maybe some battlegrounds maybe some content we'll have to see maybe some questing we'll have to I, i'm not sure what i'm going to do yet but i have lots of options uh there but happy to see those silver stars on hulk hopefully you enjoyed the video guys and we'll see you in the next one Bye bye